Hello, Monday, July 6th. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for watching. Again, this is going to be a non edited video, but hopefully sometime in my holidays, which are coming up very soon, hopefully during that period, I will try and edit some of these videos to have more time. Time which I do not have at the moment, so I need to get this done and done quickly, because I've just recorded it, and it went on for far too long, so I'm going to give it another go. First off, I'm going to do all these formalities. The thing regarding challenges. Basically, it seems from what's been said that we're going to do the sort of the random challenges where you pick someone out of a hat or something. You pick someone at random and then they get to go off and do your challenge. That one, that whole idea was inspired by some like it vlogged if you are interested. So go check out their channel and see how they do it. And to be honest, I quite like that idea above all the others because it still means we get to do challenges, but just not as many. And so we do have time to blog or video blog or vlog even, which is what I'm going to do right now. Segue. I hope that was a segue because otherwise I just look so stupid, don't I? <laughs> so, my blog today, I'm going to talk about a enrichment course that I am doing this week, an enrichment course in photography and moving image to be precise, and it is, it is, well, yes, yes, I've, I don't know what I'm saying, I really don't know what I'm saying. So this course goes on for the whole week, as I've said, and yeah, we get to do photography, and then we get to make a short video. So today, we were doing the, uh, we were doing stills. But we were kind of developing our own sort of photos. Uh, and so for the last part of the day, we got to use these pinhole cameras. Basically, they are just tin cans with a little hole in the front. And then what you do is you slot some paper in the back, some photograph paper in the back. Um, this is all done in a dark room, by the way, so it's not to damage the paper. Uh, and then you cover it up with this plasticky black plastic stuff. And with this obviously over the top, across this, over the top, no, and with this little bit over the hole. And then what you do is you take it somewhere, then you open that up, uh, then that lets all the light in. So, you know, that's in theory, I just taking the picture. Um, keep it there for however, however long, ugh. you keep it there for however long you like. Uh, I think it took about 10 15 seconds for me, somewhere in between that. Uh, and then what you do is you then take it back off to the dark room, and then you go and get it developed, which they actually let us do ourselves, which is quite cool. But I managed to get a bit of the bleach stuff on my hands, which you can no longer see because it's practically gone. Yeah, it was good. It, the, the results that you get from this are really quite amazing. Now I would demo it properly for you, but uh, but I I've already got the paper in here because. Uh, I was clever and took this home with the paper still in there. So that was, that was like I say, that was clever of me. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to use that tomorrow. Because that hasn't seen daylight since I took it out of the classroom. Or the dark room. Uh, yeah. So fingers crossed, we'll get to use those again. Uh, but what they do is when when you develop the photos, what they are, they're actually inverted. So what's meant to be white in real life shows up black on the, on the paper and vice versa um, and they're also upside down so what they, what you have to do, and this is what we're doing tomorrow is you've got to scan them into the computer which just so happens to be the wonderful Apple Macs yeah love them so much I would go into detail but you know how much I love them oh they're amazing absolutely amazing they are the only computers that they have at the college it is quite literally amazing <laughs> yeah they, you go into the um, what they do is they scan the scan the pictures in, and then you go into Photoshop again. Amazing program, absolute ah, oh, amazing. It's the only thing I can say about these programs is just amazing. Literally the best things ever. Um, they what they do is they put them in, and then they kind of sort them out. So they make the colours right, and they also uh, flip them so that they're right around. And they did two two pictures for the demo. One of which was mine, and it did look really rather amazing at the end of it. So I can't wait to do it tomorrow. 
too brilliant. Um, also, just as a sort of a side note, uh, I'm going to be blogging about this every day on my website, MrSirTwo.co.uk. Um, so please do go ahead and check that out uh, for the updates. This video, may I add, will be the blog for today. Might write a bit extra, might not, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, 